Hello everyone, I'm back for month three. This, it has been three months now since my first dose. And let me say, I am sick. I've been kind of sick all week, but I just, ugh, it's been getting the best of me lately and I've been doing my best, but, so I'm still making a video, but just know I don't feel good. <laughs> so, I, I know, for those of you who've been following my videos for however long, I often say in the video, I'm going to try to keep it short this week, and then the video is 11 minutes long. So, I'm actually going to follow through with that this week, and I'm my goal is to end before 6 minutes, not because of a lack of idea or content, but simply just because I feel like my videos have been getting kind of long lately. So, um, without further ado, um, like I said, it has been 3 months. Um, for those of you who have seen my other update videos, I've mentioned specifically what's been changing. And honestly, at month three, I can say not everything is changing at the same at the same rate it was before, and it's the same things. It's skin, it's mood, it's breast development. Like it, it's all the same, and this this is what you can expect going into this. But I gotta say. Um, I have been having a lot of mental mental changes and not not like in a bad way I've just been having a weird couple weeks I've you know I go through this sometimes as a person anyway but um, sometimes getting sick didn't help it but sometimes it can be hard and um, I've noticed that the lack of energy is no longer the factor here so much as it is just the feeling of being overwhelmed by everything that's going on because something that's important to keep in mind is that this is like a big part of your life when you choose to do this and I was bold enough to try to do this at my first year here up at college and that's already a really really big adjustment so I'm going through two really big adjustments in my life right now and while I feel like I'm doing pretty well I gotta say it's it can be hard sometimes and I mean other than that like Yes, I'm really happy with a lot of the changes. I've been happy with what I've been doing, and I've been n no regrets at all. But oh my God, it's not that easy. <laughs> let me tell you. But you know what? Whenever I think that, I always just look back and think how far I've come and how much worse it could have been had I waited or had I had a different kind of life that I do now. So for those of you who are afraid, someone just flushed. Dorm life. <laughs> Um, those of you that are afraid to do this sort of thing, I have to say, I don't say this at any means to discourage you because it is so worth it. Believe me, I'm so happy I'm doing this. But just remember that you have to be ready for the, for the ups and the downs and, and especially if it's going to be hard for you, make sure you have that basis and support because I have that support right now and it's what's helping me get through this. So that's about that. Um, on another note, what, something I wanted to talk about this week is something that recently came to my attention. Um, I'm not sure exactly how to say this because I know that some of my viewers might have to do with this sort of thing, but one thing that came to my attention recently was it was it it, it ins I was inspired literally just by some idiots on a social media site, but it reminded me of actually that this isn't uncommon at all, and it's the obsession that our group as well as a lot of people associate with the group of trans people um, the obsession with passing and what it means to go unnoticed and under the radar and I I post these videos on my reddit account I do it to one subreddit because I feel like it helps get out to those who also want to see things like this I mean it's it's as relevant as I can imagine it could be to the reddit and I I like the I like the feedback I get from the people I get on that site for the most part but I um, last week I came across people who who obviously like it's not the first time but they were fellow trans people who messaged me with with lots of contempt for the way I chose to present myself the fact that I'm a very flamboyant loud energetic person and the fact that I like to do dramatic makeup and all of this combined with my deep voice undermining who they are because I quote it's not it's not passing it's drag at this point and I have a lot of fundamental issues with that Re disregard the aspect that this was anonymous people on the internet 
I have a lot of fundamental issues with, eno with another trans person judging how passable one is. Because what is passing? Passing is people not knowing that you are going through this change and people not knowing or recognizing that you were at one point born in the wrong body. And so that can be hard for some people. And a lot of these people that comment it are just like, take it from someone who is passing. And I think that the obsession with it is so unhealthy and it bothers me. Not, not to mention physical appearance out the window. There are people in the world that are going through this, that have this as a struggle to their identity that might not necessarily pick this up right away. Take it from me. I am in college. I'm going through a lot in my life right now, and I am doing everything in my power to be as passable as I can be one day. But how dare anyone tell me that I am undermining who they are by it, by making a mockery of femininity by what I, how I choose to present myself. Fuck you. Like, I, I mean, I, this would be more energetic if I wasn't so sick right now, but seriously, I, I, I cannot fathom how someone can say that to someone. There are people in the world who identify as a trans woman who used to be football players. Do you know how, how big of a transition that is physically and mentally for a person? Regardless of how you view a tr trans person should look like and function in society, there are people who their insides don't match their outside, but their outside doesn't have to necessarily reflect the perfect model of femininity. There are plenty of trans women in the world that are still very butch and that is completely okay and i just cannot i cannot tolerate the concept of someone who claims to be the same the same kind as you who claims to have gone through the same stuff being real with other people and giving them tough love saying this is how the world is going to be you know what no it's not some of the world is going to be really really harsh and you know what i have met more than enough people in my life to prove that there are other people out there that aren't as close-minded as you and they don't care how passable i am they don't care how passable anyone is because it's not about being an under like it's not about going under the radar being trans is about being whoever the, you, the fuck you want to be which means you can wear however much makeup you want and you can be as passable as you want and it does not matter it does not matter what other people think, and it does not matter what other trans people think or what feedback you get, and honestly, I don't want to hear it if anybody if anybody disagrees with me because I will not budge. I do not think that it is okay to tell someone that because of how hard this is and everything about it, and my roommate's getting home right now, so pause. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm filming. You could have told us. That's okay. And we would have taken longer. Oh. Figured. It's, it's all gluten stuff. today. Pass that over. I'm not. I'm. I'm not skinny enough to do this. Okay. Sorry. I knew if I didn't do it now, I wouldn't do it at all. True. Thanks, Rail, for closing the barrier. All right. Give me like one minute. So what am I saying here? I'm saying very little, ultimately. I'm saying what I really don't like and what I don't want to see from other people. But basically, I just don't, in the future, I'm sure there will be plenty of people who feel differently about this, but I don't think anyone should undermine who a person is or how they choose to represent themselves in general. But on the, on the topic of passing, I want everyone to know that in my personal experience, or if from my personal perspective, any amount of you're not passable enough, you don't fit this norm of what I grouped you into based on what you choose to identify yourself with, I will not fucking tolerate that. So on that note, um, I'm going to go explode in an agony of sick death, and I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week when I'm hopefully recovered.